So apparently, they missed. That's all I can gather from what's happening over in the western Gulf of Mexico. For those of you who haven't heard, a group of clouds called Invest, I believe, 97L, Invest standing for Investigation Area, has now spun itself up into some kind of an organized storm, and it is now forecasted to gain strength and head directly east and slam into Florida. So all I can gather from this is that Hurricane Helene was meant to hit Florida, but oops, they just didn't aim well enough. So now they're going to try again with this one. I'm sure a lot of people are like, wait a minute. Florida Maquis, I think they hit exactly where they were planning to. Haven't you heard about the lithium mine and all this stuff? Well, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. But first, I think we should talk about something else. As always... I want to lead off with gratitude. Thank you to everyone who continues to file in over the Florida Maki Patreon channel. We started with just a $1 level, and then there was enough of a demand for a $5 level. I thought, okay, I'll open up the level. doesn't hurt. It's not required. The vast majority, hundreds of videos over there are available for those at the base level, the $1 a month level. But there was even a greater demand, so we stood up two more levels. And enough people have signed up that we have started doing what I'm calling unit commander's briefings over there. Now, once again, still the vast majority of videos, hundreds of never before seen on YouTube videos are available over there, dealing with psychological operations and a host of other topics for the vast majority of folks that you can peruse for 90 days. 90 days, no questions asked. If it's not for you, you can watch from now until basically next year, really. And if it's not for you, get all three of your $1 pledges back. But once again, there's a $1 level, a $5 level, and there are two more now. Unit commanders and brigade commanders. Now, these are much higher levels, but I figured to open them up, see if anybody was interested, and they were. So these levels are a different type of video that are really designed for people who have a command of their mind and aren't led about by their feelings here and there and everywhere, regardless of what those feelings are, whether they're anger, whether they're frustration or joy or war, whatever it is. You can't be led by those feelings. I'm not saying don't have them. But once again, two brand new, two brand new, just posted actually the wee hours of this morning, about 1 a.m., two brand new videos. Part one is for unit commanders and brigade commanders together. Part two is for brigade commanders only. And trust me, there are things over there that you might want to get warmed up at the base levels first before you go to these levels. Because this is how Gen X used to talk about things many, many years ago. People aren't used to it. So they find it sometimes a little bit off-putting, but it's the reality. Now, let's get right to it. Apparently now, we can go back to demonizing Florida. Because what was the story? Before everything happened up in Appalachia, what was the story? What was the story, the accepted story? Well, let me tell you what it was from a Floridian's point of view. You're so stupid to live in Florida. You are so dumb. Don't you know they have weather control modification, they're going to spin up these hurricanes, they're just going to send them at you one after the other, after the other, until all Florida, all Florida is underwater. See, we're the smart ones. We live up here in the mountains, and that ain't going to happen to us. If you think you're safe from weather control, consider that Asheville, North Carolina, is sitting nearly 300 miles from the nearest coastline at an elevation of 2,134 feet, just got wiped out by, you see, they call it a hurricane. Hurricanes are known for their wind, the spiraling winds. What happened up there was an atmospheric tsunami. It was the water, not the wind. I haven't heard a single report saying, man, look at all the wind damage here. Not one report of wind damage. Just a massive tsunami of water. Now, what if I told you this exact same thing happened, but 10, perhaps 100 times more powerful this exact week 
about 160 years ago. Just on the exact opposite side of the planet. Now, as always, track the tropics. Track the tropics. Just like it sounds. T-R-A-C-K. T-H-E-T-R-O-P-I-C-S. Anything and everything you would want to know about this new spin-up of clouds called, there's something they're calling it Milton. Um, here it's still being called Invest 92L, Investigation Area 92L. Um, they're saying it's supposed to hit Florida, so there's preparations being made over on the West Coast. This one takes it right smack dab right through the center of Florida. Now, once again, if we hadn't had the issue with Helene up in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, all this area, we, what would the story be? What would the story be? The story would be what? Well, Floridians, I don't know who need to hear this, but whenever you're going through a hurricane, it's your fault. It's, it's your fault. Ain't you seen the Navy map? Ain't you seen what their plan is? They're going to put all Florida underwater. That's why we're up here in the hills of Tennessee. Look at all, this, all these folks over here living on that New Madrid fault line. Well, you know, we warned you. We warned you that thing's going to let go and, and it's going to be the end of the world. Now, that's why we live up here in eastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky and western North Carolina because we're the smart ones. We're the smart ones. They can't get us up here. You just leave us the hell alone, you dumbass Floridians. You're so stupid, I just can't believe how stupid you are. Article Tropical Storm Milton forms to intensify into serious threat to Florida. It's supposed to spin up over here and come crashing right across the middle of the state. I think Florida will be able to handle it. We've handled Benny in the past. We'll handle the ones that have come, you know, and we'll handle the ones that, you know, will go. But I think it's an interesting new dynamic now that if they had the power, and some people are saying they do, some people are saying they don't, if let's just assume for argument's sake that they do have the ability to create, control, steer, whatever you want to call it, these things, why would anyone think they were safe anywhere? Seriously, because don't tell me that wasn't the story. That wasn't the story before this. The story was that if you lived in Florida, you were stupid. I got, I can't tell you, I wouldn't need a Patreon channel. I wouldn't need a Patreon channel if I had a dime for every person that told me how stupid, even regardless of Governor DeSantis and all the wonderful things that have happened here in Florida in the last three to five years. If I had a dime... For every person that told me how stupid I was to live in Florida because of the Navy map and how you're going to be underwater and they're going to send hurricane after hurricane, they're going to destroy you. And that, of course, has written into it and read into it. We're perfectly safe up here in the hills of Tennessee and North Carolina. They can't get us up here with them hurricanes. No, we got we got a little bit cold and snow, but we can we can deal with all that now. See, we're away from that. We're away from that horrible fault line. You know, we're not going to be out west for sure because they're a bunch of flakes and they got volcanoes and they got that huge caldera under Yosemite or whatever. Yellowstone or whichever one. I can never keep that straight. But we're going to be safe out here in Appalachia. Now, as I mentioned, October 5, 1864, a powerful cyclone hit Calcutta, India almost completely destroying the port city. Killed, you ready for this number? You see right now they're bantering around, you know, a few hundred that might climb up maybe once all the bodies are found near a thousand. Which, no, get me wrong. Horrible, horrible situation going on up there. But what happened in British Calcutta killed 60,000 people and caused a tsunami tidal wave 30 feet high. Of the 195 ships that were in the harbor, 172 were catastrophically damaged. 
destroyed two other ports, Kajuri and Hijli. Unreal. And this was back in 1864 before India was this giant overpopulated mess that it is now. 60,000. Other side of the planet, 160 years ago. Not sure if they've had harp since then. I mean, I don't remember any, remember any ports, uh, pardon me, reports from 1864 talking about harp and weather mod and all this kind of stuff. Of course, you know, maybe maybe they did. Maybe they just had a problem with uh, British Calcutta and the East India Trading Company and all that good stuff. You think you're safe from, well, I guess, even if you don't call it weather control, the hand of God. Consider that Asheville, North Carolina, a city nearly 300 miles from the nearest coastline at elevation 2,134 feet, just got wiped out by a hurricane. Now, I know a lot of you are probably like, well, Florida Maquis, Florida Maquis, you don't know the real story. There's a lithium mountain. I want you folks to think about something clearly. If somebody like BlackRock or Vanguard wanted to put a mine 70 miles away, by the way, the mountain 70 miles away from Asheville, if they wanted to put a mine there, and you're making the allegation that they steered this storm there to uh, destroy all the property, make it a disaster zone, eminent domain comes in, and they get the land cheap. The amount of money they are going to have to spend to start from scratch, basically, with plumbing, with drainage, with roads, with sewers, with power generation, with housing for workers and services for workers. And I mean, anything you can imagine, they are going to have a huge mountain of garbage to move first to clear everything out and then basically start like they were in Antarctica and rebuild everything. The, uh, the amount of money that they saved, allegedly, by wiping this place out will be so orders of magnitude much more made up for and counteracted by the amount of money they're going to have to invest just to be able to get roads to their mine. The question that you should be asking is who didn't want a lithium mine there? Who didn't want one? Because they didn't want... If you want to go into an area and commercially exploit it, you don't want to destroy all the infrastructure. You just want the people gone. You don't destroy all of everything and have to rebuild because lithium mines require people and people require places to live places to live require electricity and they require sewer and they require drainage and they of course restaurants and then places to shop and all this kind of stuff all now has to be redone from scratch do you know how much that's going to cost and how long it's going to take the idea that they did this to expedite a lithium mine is ridiculous it's a ridiculous idea. They made their, their life a hundred times harder. Now, that having been said, we're going to delve further into other topics, primarily Florida-related, and related to this. Not going to translate, but I think a lot of you can imagine what happens when transnational criminal organizations like Trend Aragua end up in F-around and find-out land. Look up Pena de Muerte. This is what we do. And that's why they don't get a foothold here. But we'll get into that much more over at Patreon. Probably at the need-to-know level, which is the $5 level. Haven't forgotten about you guys. Thank you guys so much. Very much appreciate it. But use your noggin. Use your noggin and think about things clearly. The big mountain of lithium that they wanted, 70 miles away from Asheville, from Chimney Rock, from all these different places. So that land had nothing to do with it. And even if it did, they 
you have to, it's not the people who want the mine. If it's, it's related to lithium, it's who doesn't want there to be a mine in the next five to ten years? Because that's how long it's going to take to stand everything, to clear everything out, clean up all of the mess, and then bring in engineers and start all over again. Is going to take, it's going to take years it makes no it makes no sense that this was trying to trying to start a lithium mine it was trying to stop one if anything so once again i know this seems like it's too soon but literally every time there was a hurricane or a problem in florida this channel along with many other people had to listen to Appalachians, talk about how smart they were and how much superior they were for having chose to live up in the mountains of Tennessee. And we had to listen to how stupid we were for living in Florida. I think it's ironic that we have another hurricane coming, and I guess we can probably say that well, the other one was really meant for us, I guess, and they just missed. They goofed up, and so they're going to try to take us out again. Does that make any sense? Does any of that make any sense, y'all? I don't know. Just just saying it, just, uh, well. Once again, track the tropics. Nobody's safe. Not from the hand of God, for sure. So, here in Florida, we will do what we need to do. And I'm not saying don't pray for the people up there. Lift them up. Support them. Take care of them. Do everything you can. Florida has sent all sorts of folks up there to help them out. Hopefully this will be more of a unifying act than a divisive one. And maybe Floridians will now no longer have to listen to people from Appalachia wave their high and mighty little fingers at us about you know all this kind of stuff. And perhaps we can put to get put to bed this ridiculous nonsense about uh, navy maps and Florida underwater and all this kind of stuff. Since basically now it's Asheville and areas up here that are actually well under mud at this point. So I will leave it there. Unit commanders, brigade commanders, need to know level, basic level. Love to have you at Patreon. God bless. As always, pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.